answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. We're going with part two now. So we just had to do an update and reaction and a little, you know, digging into what has happened with Miss Tiffany Henyard and Miss Fanny Willis case. We're going to keep our eye on that, even though we know that that is distractions. That's actually uh, keeping us away from what are they really distracting us from? So we're going to get into that session right now. I want to say thank you for being here with Grace Levi. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, please. Okay. Get us in the algorithm. You know what we do. We talk about the things that other people don't want to talk about. We talk about the things that get you frustrated. We make you uncomfortable, but we make you think. How about that? How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what they don't want us to know. And I will hope that this is not a trend, but it is. We went through the defund the police saga, okay? My thing as a woman from the Black community, I truly believe that we did need police reform. But as I told you, police reform cannot happen unless the heart of man actually changed. If you hate people in your heart and you have a particular job, you're not going to do the job well. If you're police, a, a, a lawyer, a doctor, a gas pumper, you see that person, you're going to treat them like shit. And that's the problem. It's the heart of people. Now, that have led and also the foundations of the police department in the United States, where it is based off of the slave catcher. And I'm like, that ain't the truth. Yes, the yes, it is. All of those KKK and slave trappers that went into the police department. The CIA said it. The CIA said it, not me. But that does not mean that we don't need some type of law and order and we don't need um, a sector that protects us as people. OK, I'm realistic about this. We do need reform. We need to know who we put in there and they definitely need to know the law and be educated because it's just anybody that's dead just hiring them. But what we're noticing now when we pray that it's not a trend, Pittsburgh police will no longer respond to certain theft and burglary alarm calls. And, and they told us to give our pistols in. Did they tell us to hand our pistols in, huh? They told us to get rid of the Second Amendment. I don't think so. So the Pittsburgh uh, Bureau of Police have made major changes to its operation as it battles staff shortage. Where are all the people, including no longer responding to in-process emergencies and limited the number of officers on night shift? Police Chief Larry Sherato. Toronto announced in February that during the earlier morning hours, there will be fewer officers on staff and lower priority calls will get sent to the phone telephone reporting until um, rather than a person. Now, my thing is, why are you going to go and do that? You announce it to the public. You announce it to the criminals that between this time, we're going to be short staff. That's really stupid. That's really dumb. Police Chief Larry Soto announced this in February. The chief said that the changes need to be made so his 750 officers can more efficiently serve the community. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to this because this is a problem. Look what the first comment says. They're setting up the perfect environment for the purge. Is this something that they don't want us to pay attention to? Or is it? This is what we need to be paying attention to, the policies that's changing in our local police department as well as our local government as far as what are they doing with our taxes, how certain policies are being handled, and where is the money actually being allocated to. We need to have an idea of what programs they're choosing. This is not a good program to choose, okay? You can find another way to cut back on the budget here. 
So Pittsburgh, guys, please be careful. Um, I hope that's an open carry state because you're going to have to protect yourself in the middle of the night, okay? These are the things they don't want us to pay attention to, but we're going to pay attention to it because we want to see if there's going to be trends. Is there going to be trends? Is there going to be trends of police station? We already know that they're understaffed. We already know we went through the defund police saga and the money was not reallocated into no other program, which was stupid. And we still have the same issue going on now. You have to change the hearts of people, get different type of people, and then you have different outcomes. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. You know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.